All right. So um, lesson part four of forfeiture. We're going to start with a quick little kind of review. I did finish. I finished him. This is this is named Colt. So oh, I like the background that yeah. I didn't know. Think about the background. Yeah. And oh, so just like him. Thank you. Um. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take. I really, really popped almost white light on the mm -hmm. side of his face and a little bit on his nose and just kind of refined. Um, I added some pink, some pinky colors and some um, goldeny colors on the left side to kind of get that soft light in there. Um, I tweaked a little bit with the top of his mouth, just a little bit because he's got that little where his lip kind of turns in where he's smiling. So, um, and then I tried to add a little bit of pops, you know, like a couple of those scarlet -y kind of colors in and around and some blue. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna let it go with that. Um, there is some texture on him, like it's not smooth, smooth, but um, I can send you guys an actual photo well, I could probably pull up the photograph toward the end of the class. I'll do that. Um, okay, so that's one thing to review. The other thing, which I kind of noticed after we were well into our charcoal drawings, was that hmm, this is going to be hard since it's heavy. All right, so there's the charcoal drawing of Colt. Right. And then I like both of them. There's the baby drawing of Nolan. And but I realized, and I it's too heavy to hold up, but side by side, the baby looks ginormous. <laughs> and what I realized was is I was just drawing. So proportionately within themselves, they're correct drawings, but side by side, the baby's bigger. And um so what I did was I went ahead and made the outer envelope of Nolan today because I wanted to oops, make sure that they weren't, I didn't want a giant baby head that because they go side by side. I actually had to think about it. Normally I don't have to think about portraits yeah, being yeah, yeah. next to one another, you know? So um, they, uh, my friend Brenda, this is these are her grandsons, and she sent me a picture of the two of them together, side by side. So um, maybe I'll just share screen real fast, and I'll pull that up so I can show you how I worked through that. Get my big head in there. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I gotta let me pull up the photograph first. Oh, wait, it's in downloads. I never actually saved it. Okay, now I'll share screen. I think I would be faster at this by now. Okay. Oh, and I should spotlight too. Okay. Um, so, I did a little comparison where I measured just approximately how long Colt's face was from chin to top and then compared it with the baby from chin to top. And it's just a smidge shorter. So the painting of Colt was seven and a half inches tall from chin to top. So based on that, I made the baby about six inches tall. So they'll look a little more relatively close together. And again, normally I wouldn't even think about that, but this is one of those times where I have um, both of them potentially being hung side by side. I don't know if my friend's going to want them or not, but no pressure because I asked for these pictures. <laughs> so most, you know, some people, they like the photograph and happy with photographs and 
some people like that. I would even want the black and white, the charcoal. I, they came out really good. You know, I am going to spray them and I'll <laughs> offer those to her. But yeah. like I said, the, you know, the baby is so much larger. <laughs> it's cute. It came out looking just like the pictures, like really good. And um, the colored one though you did with, is really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hopefully she'll love. Uh, I would take them. <laughs> yeah. Well, if she does not reuse the paper, <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know how they could be any better. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So now we are on to actual filling things in, right? So here's the scary part. <laughs> this, I was concerned as to how long it was going to take me to get the outer envelope, which is why I did it ahead of class, because that's kind of a boring thing to watch, you know, to get that little baseball head going in there. Um, <laughs> but once I decided how large to make his head, then it all kind of fell into place. So um, once I got the basic shape, I had the height, then I set my skewer back and I wanted to see how wide his face was in comparison. I'm using his ear over here as the outer edge, just kind of getting a look at that. So the same thing, I'm pretty spot on on that. I wanted to make sure so his ears are about right down pretty darn close to the middle of his face. And there's an angle, a very specific angle. So I use that, I've got his ears placed and that angle placed. Um, and then the other thing was I checked on the little, on his cheeks because, you know, you can almost feel how you could squeeze them. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but we don't wanna go too big because they actually, and over here, the way he's leaning, it kind of hangs down a little bit. And over here, it's just, it's a little contoured in. Um, so that width was important to me too. Uh, and then I just kind of quickly sketched in the rest. So I used a sharpened new pastel, um, one of the shadowy kind of colors. And so I have the two shadowy colors here in place. And I'm going to start with that, just like we did with the um, the charcoal drawing of the baby. I'm going to start placing some of those shadow shapes. And um, it's a little stressful, got to be honest. Like it's, it's a little, you know, but the good thing is with this paper, we can still erase it all the way down. So if you make a mistake, not a big deal. Um, I have my polymer eraser handy because this is the one that will do the work you can see I was erasing yesterday it's all dirty from that um have your dry brush handy to get off that first layer if you need to erase get that down um and then you're good to go so I'm just gonna start making some shadows now the whole side of his cheek, that's pretty deep and pretty dark. So he's going to be a little challenging too, because you don't want it to go too brown and dark, but you don't want it to be too light either. Um, keeping in consideration that the camera makes everything darker and sharper. So it applies to portraits too. I'm just kind of testing a couple of colors that I want for that shadow before I really commit to that shadow. So this one says Rouge, Tuscan red, I was Tuscan red. So this gives me something a little deeper for just underneath. So as I'm blocking in these shadow shapes, it's similar to what we were doing once we started painting the last one. 
where we're blocking it all in. We just don't have everything drawn in just yet. I'm just working with shadows. And I'm going to obviously take the simpler shadows, like his ear and things like that. Um, Light. That's probably not light enough. I have a couple of these little sharpened ones. And I can go a little bit bigger in the shadow shapes to because when I put the lighter colors on top, it'll give it some shape. His in the inside of his mouth is super dark, right? We all kind of know that, you know, the shadowing, if the mouth is open, you know, if you got teeth and you got all kinds of shadowing in there. This can be a nice pretty red once I get to it. There's a, a nice reflection. Maybe not this dark. But I want that, like I said the last time, we want a little bit of depth in there so that they're not um, lifeless. We want those shadows or that heft underneath to look like blood flow. And so for this little guy, the reflections on Colt's face we had, he was wearing that black and gray shirt and it almost was like black and gray was up the front of his face and his shadows. And here, um, and here those shadows aren't, they're, they're reflective of what's around this baby, which is not that that gray. So he's got this little peachy colored blanket or pillow. Um, so it's not quite. What of a challenge. Now I did when I did cold. I didn't make his shadows like overall the top layer of his shadows weren't super heavy and dark. Um, they weren't nearly as dark as the photograph because he had, you know, as the baby does, those little, not quite circles, but the shadow shapes under the eyes. If, if I would have really done them as deep as they were in the photograph, it would have looked, it just wouldn't have looked very nice for the poor kid. So, um, <laughs> I didn't want him to look like he hadn't slept in a month. I just wanted him to have a little bit. That's probably good. Okay. Since I'm still kind of working in a medium dark, I can go, I can stay loose. I can eyeball a little bit of what I'm trying to do before I tighten things up with the really dark. I'm kind of going around the really dark, right? Because his eyes are really dark. Um, And this, it's a little bit different too, because it's not like we're using toned charcoal paper. We're just using the, the buff of the pastel paper, which isn't really giving as much. So it's a little creepy, but he's coming out of <laughs> I guess all portraits are a little creepy at first, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. And again, you know, this method, it might be a little faster, but it's also a little, a little scary because we're just kind of going for it, you know, so to speak. 
I know that this is going to go a lot brighter, but like I said before, I want some of that color underneath. How we really go into the more pink family. Let's go ahead and get the pink in them. Yeah, here we go. Probably closer to what it's going to end up being. That's kind of the trick sometimes, you know, um, Caucasian skin, there's a lot of pink and then there's a lot of tan. And then, you know, it's not all pink and it's not all tan. So we really have to have a combination of all of it to get to where we need to be. So this color is really, really super pink. Uh, but when I add the highlights on top, it'll be in the more goldeny yellow family. And that'll change things up a little bit. We didn't really talk about backgrounds. Um, I, I put a background in um, mainly because I always end up having little marks all around um, because you don't need a background. You can leave it perfectly plain, um, especially if you're working on colored paper, not necessarily the buff paper, but if you're working on colored paper and maybe you're using more pastel pencil and it's more of a tight illustration, you don't necessarily need a background color. Um, but the last one we did the grid lines. So even though it erased basically away, some of the places there was still like a ghost line here and there. So I just wanted to give it some more information. I'm kind of just stepping back for a minute before I really start to place things. Um, I'm going to place the irises of his eyes first and build around them because they are nice and super dark. They're that baby gray blue. Um, you know, you barely see the blue, but it's really super dark. And then I'll start to place the darkness of his mouth too. Um, but before I do that, I kind of have to like gather myself <laughs> because it is so dark. She has a lot of colors and that face. Cause she's got blush and kind of yellow and oh yeah, <laughs> she's going. She's got like lots There's of makeup. makeup. There's on, lots of makeup. That's my makeup on the crown. <laughs> Joanne's doing Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> it's a really pretty picture of her, but there's a lot of makeup caked and, and a lot of weird light reflecting weird colors. So yeah. <laughs> She's uh, not smiling too. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> no teeth. <Yay. laughs> yeah. Okay, so before I really go in place, please, I'm going to start to measure. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a deep navy blue in my hand. That's kind of what I'm going to start with just for the irises and I can make some things darker and some things lighter. Um, but I'm really just focused on those little tiny circles and where to place them and how to place them. So I have the ears, the top of the ears basically hit the bottom of the eyes. So I'm already off on my spacing. Look at that, that's terrible. Okay, hold on. Because <laughs> he's got a little upturn. Okay, so first mistake has to be taken away. Brush it right yeah, I'm going to brush it down. I'm not worried about erasing just yet. I don't know that I'm going to need to. Um, but his eyes are too low. All right. Let's try that again. So the bottom of his eyes hit there. Let's see. 
how far over to start placing them. I should put down the pastel. Hold on. So it's on the line, ear to ear. Say one. Ooh, it's like a whole eye between there, but I haven't determined the size of the eyes, so that's not helpful yet. Two, three, four, almost five across. All right, so now that I have that placed on that line and I said it's a little more, it's almost five across. So I put a little extra there and now I can start my interpretation of fifths. Right. One, two, three, four. So it's like the edge of his eye. This one's going to take me a few minutes to really place it. I don't want to just start placing it and be wrong in what I was thinking I was doing. You know, sometimes we get in that place where like, oh, I thought I was looking right here, but no, I was really measuring the edge of his eye, not the, you know, exactly where I was. So it's actually measuring to the edge there, which means And the eyes are always stressful because they're what makes the person the person. And, uh, you know, you don't want to goof that up, right? So. <laughs> it looks silly because it's like all so seriously and placed in March. All right, so if I go one, two, three. Okay, it's placed in the right spot. It just looks a little weird <laughs> for a minute, which is fine. Um, I think his nose is gonna have to go up higher too. So I guess I'm just kind of giving him an overall, I'm moving everything around and kind of giving him an overall pink right now okay so now that i know that that's the right size i can start to place the next eye it's going to end up going a little bit darker over here but i'm using that same deep color how is that doesn't look right and I'm really going to fuss at this point because if I don't fuss now, I will regret that later. It's kind of a bold move for somebody her age to wear such red lipstick. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> so you abandon that shade after Down a certain a little. age. Yeah, I know. I have some bright red lipstick I used to love to wear yeah. in my 20s and even into my 30s. And I put it on not too long ago. I was like, oh, hey, no, 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 <laughs> does not work anymore. <laughs> and I think my lips got smaller too. I think they lost volume. They do. They do, right? Your nose yeah. gets bigger and your lips get smaller. <laughs> your, what is it? your nose and your ears keep growing for your entire life. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, so. So I'm looking at it again, really trying to maneuver. What color did you use on the eyes? Um, it's this really, it's kind of, it's Tuscan red is the, mm -hmm. is the brown. And then I just put the inside, the iris just is blue. Um, so, but that's just to kind of start to place things out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because it's such a bright photograph of her. Like, I'm surprised that her pupils are huge. Maybe she's on antidepressants. Maybe. <laughs> With her job, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> That's how she's so I gone. think I would need it. <laughs> For sure. It looks like it should be correct. But I feel like I'm too far away on the side, which is what's bothering me. Obviously his eye can't be made too large because that would be silly looking. Um, yeah, this distance between the corner here to the edge of his face is what's bothering me. Um, Pencils. Yeah, pastel pencils, especially for this drawing part, are certainly a good thing um, to help you if you don't have sharpened new pastels. Hmm. Okay. 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 If you could see me, there's probably steam coming out of my ears right now <laughs> as my brain is working. We'll smooth some of that out so I can just see a little bit better. Um, I know it's still not the right color that I smoothed, but. And this is lurking and maybe I'm gonna place this little shadow under him there. On his jammies, just to kind of help me a little bit. So if I do that, So these are some of the dangers of not having things measured out in line drawing before, because I'd be like, oh, well, I can drop that down, but that's still not measured. I don't have his nose measured or his mouth measured. So if I were to start trying to use any of those plumb lines, I really couldn't because I don't have them fully safely identified as correct yet. So what I'm gonna have to do I'm going to build up a little bit. I'm going to work on his chin going up to get to that eye. I don't trust, I don't trust that just yet, but I trust the overall size of his head. So I have to figure it out a little bit better. That went really bright, I know. He's got a lot of bright light on. All right, so in the suggestions that Alan Picard had, I have pulled here yesterday too, um, these four new pastels and they are literally the color oh it's hesh it's not wait no it is peach <laughs> uh, if you turn it you get english okay so peach which is number 376 
Matter Pink, M-A-D-D-E-R, Matter Pink, number 286. Buff, which is more of the yellow color. It's literally closest to the color of the paper. And Shell Pink. Shell Pink is really cool in tone. Like it's really a cool light. This one, um, the Matter Pink is nice and warm, um, which is great. Less. Now, see, this is this is why I like to use the harder sticks to start to to blend. If I put this matter pink right on top of that really bright, almost white, it just softens that down a little bit. If I put it on top of the darker pink, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it gives it a little bit um, because of the fact that it's a hard stick gliding over soft. Yes, I'm practicing avoidance behavior right now. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. So let's see, let's see. I do know that if I can use, I can use this ear on the left to start to, um, again, place the mouth. I started to place the mouth with the shadows, but I didn't get as deep as um, what's there. So this is my kind of deep purpley color. and the angles as to how the mouth opens. I have a feeling he comes in a little bit. One, two, It looks like, I feel like the mouth looks really big, but again, I guess that's just the uh, illusion since we don't have a lot of information, um, but it's actually correct. I say that with hesitation, but it is correct. <laughs> His lips are, will be a little bright at first. I think he's wearing some lipstick, but I need that for a minute. It doesn't have to be exact, but I do need something. <laughs> Again, it always looks a little creepy at this stage. I do need to get my reading glasses too. <laughs> I'm the king. I'm still not quite used to wearing reading glasses all the time, so I end up having a weird headaches because I'm going back and forth. I'm not quite used to unless they're a little bit adjust. Well, well, maybe that's it. They're a thing, though. It's definitely not Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Mm. 
It'd be nice if I can get her hair to look silvery. So nice silvery, color. silver is just like clouds, if you think about it. So it's that combination of the blue and the in the lavender. Oh, she really, really that, light. Like a little bit underneath. Yeah, that should start with that. Yep, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. All right, so right through the middle of the ear is where the nose is going to go. Yeah, I had the nose too. So I'm going to place ish the nostrils, I'm just kind of making a mark for a second. I'm not really, it's not the darkest that it's going to be because now it doesn't look quite right. Boy, that doesn't look right at all. Maybe his ear is too long. That could be. That would be. And if I'm measuring off an ear that's too long, it's going to place things wrong. One, two, three, three, go. Oh, I know that's already wrong. Okay, wait. Two, one. I'm like, I'm looking like this, like a monster with purple hair. <laughs> it's, <I have> to, <laughs> little medusa quality <laughs> kick in there yeah all right let me read let me adjust this ear because if i'm measuring off the ear everything is off let me do this again and then i might have to completely rub out the inside of his face aren't you guys happy to, to watch me mess up twelve thousand times okay so I think it's hard to do this in front of people. <laughs> well, <laughs> portraits, not, yeah, yeah. But it's not me. <laughs> so portraits are certainly sense. portraits are certainly harder to do in front of people, especially when it's not. As much as I love to do portraits, I don't do them as often as would probably almost four. Would take far hard to do. Period. There were people in your class that for like did pretty good and then they had that portrait class um in lower oh and yeah they couldn't do it okay yeah yeah <laughs> it's very hard portraits are hard all right so his ear's not that far off so what's so far on i know he's looking up so is is he's starting i mean he's not looking up, up, but he's got a little bit of a turn. So the back of his head is going back. But it looks, you know, normally when you start to place these things, it's like, okay, it looks a little funny, but you can see where it's going, right? And this one, I just kind of feel like, I'm not sure. All right, so one ear hits the top of the shadow part. All right, so his mouth, that's the shadow part. So then the bottom of his mouth might be too low. Let me get an angle. Let me try that angle. So ear to the... Ah, okay. So let me do that again. His mouth seems to be open the right distance. Uh, it could cut up a little bit. Let me cut that a bit now. There we go. I can adjust that. That's really dark but I'm just kind of, again, piece by piece. All right, so taking the ear again, and I'm going to go up again. So I've got to the top of the open lip. 
halfway through that is the nostrils. So Okay, so they are in the right spot. I guess so once I put that to put it back in. His lips do exactly what his big brothers do, where they kind of go away on the edge on the top. In the, in the center, there's a little bit of lip, and then they kind of turn in. All right, so side to side. Just a little hint of the tongue. I'm not going to go crazy with details on that tongue just yet, but it's just kind of nice to have it started to be placed. Um, oh, that's the wrong color. Maybe that's part of it too. Maybe they're the right height, but they're too far to one side. It could always be an issue. So I'm gonna take that ear again and go a little more than one ear in to the outer nostril. That's it. Yeah. It's not terrible. One ear. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Things aren't adding up right. <sighs> this is where if I were by myself, I'd probably be like, okay, I'm just going to stop for now. <laughs> Clear my head and start over. All right. So I have to go back. I know even like for me, I'll just... I can just say, yeah, I'll do it more and help. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And sometimes that's all it takes is just like, sometimes I get, I stutter myself up a little bit. Like once it, that once there's a little stumble, then I, it's just, it's almost impossible to bring myself back in and fix it in my own brain. Mm. All right, so. I'm going to check the ear again. Uh, again. I'm going to grab pencil too. You'd think it'd be easy to find a pencil in my world, but it's not. <laughs> it is weirdly one of those things I never had pencil. <laughs> okay, so. Oops, ear to ear. One. Two. Three. Three and a half. Get to the bottom to the top. So we're gonna go. One. Two. Three. So it's a, the ear is a little long. 
so maybe I'll cut some off the top. This is another reason why backgrounds are helpful because when I have these little mistakes that I'm correcting, and you've got different eraser marks and stuff, you can just carve in a little bit of color right up to that line and be good. Okay, let's try that, which is going to change a bunch of other things, I realized, but I wanted it taken off the top because I feel like his eyes were too high anyway. So, one, that matches, two, three, and uh, now I took too much off. Gosh, darn it. There we go. All right, so now I'm happy with the size of the ear to the length of the face. I want to see if I'm happy with the size of the ear in comparison to the width of the face. Again. Because again, I think you, you think you know the points at which you're stopping and starting because they're not necessarily an item. Hmm. If I don't get as far as I want to in this piece today, which it's only 10 o'clock, I'm panicking like it's the end of the day. Oh. Um, I will do like a time-lapse video of the finishing of it. And post that as well, but I'll probably get a lot further than I think I'm going to get. I just have to settle, settle in. The side of his face needs to come in just a smidge. Which will probably help the issue I was having earlier of um, the eye feeling like it was too far away. Okay, so. I know the top of the mouth is correctly placed. <laughs> now, okay. well, you're trying to figure it out, so are we. So yes, <laughs> everybody's <laughs> trying to figure it out all at once. 
Hopefully my babbling doesn't interrupt your train of thought. Not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering why certain things are over there. Okay. <laughs> I will uh, be over there in just a second. Oh, it's okay. I'm oh, no, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I could use yeah, a good reason. <laughs> you have that big class. You do get a break. I do around. get a break to come around. Yeah. Come around and everybody. <laughs> I get to a point. I'm like, oh, okay, I can chill out here for right now. Yeah, this is a little harder on you, Francie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Her eyes over to Okay, so now that I have that little line there, I can determine. With the angle. Okay, so now that's a little too high. So I'm gonna knock that down. Um, yeah, there's something bad going on there, too, with the eye. Well, too big, too over. It's closer to the nose than I have it. I wish I could just shove it. <laughs> just shove it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, you know, let's see. I'm trying to make it come over. Oh, here, use this eraser. Those are too hard. It's not going to get very far. Use that one. And then here, take a paintbrush. It's a little full of dust. And you can just kind of scrape away at the corner of her eye. And then you can erase because you since you're putting kind of the whites in there. So, mm -hmm. and that way you can move it a little bit. Too. So yeah, the little no, straights to come over this. Yeah, way. it's yeah. You've got the shape of the the droop going, you know, like the eyelid droop. Yeah, going. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, things to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So back at it. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so. I'm still using a pencil for right now. Um, I have that second tier mark. Have a tighter grip on that. All right, so that is pretty good, but the placement I'm not sure of just yet. So now I got to get from the side and build. I still have to put his nose in there too. So maybe I'll put the nose in next. Yeah. yeah, it's always nice if this came out right the first time. It would be. <laughs> I'm always in awe of like, like the caricature artists at the um, you know, wherever yeah, at the like carnival or something. <laughs> it's fast and it's high pressure. Of course, they are also allowed to exaggerate, you know, it's not like they're making an exact replica but you still got to get the likeness which is always oh i remember somebody when i was a kid they were trying to do a likeness oh. cast like that oh gosh yeah they did pretty good too well i guess i could achieve that in charcoal i mean but i, I couldn't achieve it with color you know what i probably wasn't in color
Jesus, all I need is really. <laughs> I'm like erasing the whole thing. Darn. I'm using some angles for a minute too. So I'm looking at corner of the outer corner of the mouth to the outer shadowy corner of the eye, not the whites, but the outer corner of the eye. You look in um eyes most people's eyes aren't that far apart right <laughs> unless you're Britney Spears yeah. mm -hmm. I'm afraid to get up because that's what I thought with the landscape right. looks better but with this you're not definitely not doing as good as you thought you were <laughs> yeah it's uh okay I now it looks so too close hard. I guess it wouldn't be I'm just kind of putting in more highlights to determine if I'm if I can build what I need to build with shadow and light for a minute. Some of the colors that I started with just aren't quite looking like I wanted them to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I have those same sentiments. I would be the one in class with the heavy side today. <laughs> with the heavy <laughs> side, wouldn't be from across the room. It would be me. The worst, definitely the worst thing is this eye wall so far. <laughs> it's it's going to come at some point. All right, I'm gonna pause the video for just a minute. I'm gonna give my eyes a bit of a break. I'm gonna keep going with the pencil for a little bit longer. Um, I see certain things that need to be addressed. Put the glasses on. Mm -hmm. I do feel like I've made quite a mess today, though. Got to be honest. Normally, it's not. He's actually so messy. coming along. He's, He's coming. He's getting there.
I think that older people are easier. Anyway. <laughs> I really do. I there's think... something about a smooth baby face that works, and then there's something about an old wrinkly face that works. So, you know, <laughs> we get a little of both. I think you can somehow get away with more. Checking, checking, and reminding myself what the points were. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's been sanded into oblivion. Well, So I think I need to get some of that whites of the eyes, which I'm making quite blue because they're not, the one side's a little bright, the other sides really aren't very bright. So I'm just going to start to place some of that information. Come on. That's too small. And does he have blue eyes? Yeah, he's got those like the baby, baby gray, the uh, gray blue. It becomes a different color. My kids actually stayed that color. No well, that changes. Oh, the gray blue. Yeah, my that's kind of what mine are like. Yeah. All right, the angle makes this eye actually smaller than the other. Gotta open it up more. And they both have that same shape in their eye where the lid kind of even now they don't really have their correct noses and stuff. I guess the mouth maybe stays the same. Yeah. It's a nose that people don't really have the real nose. <laughs> yeah. It's a heavy side kind of day. Yeah. Yeah, and the eyes. What a pain. <laughs> yeah, today especially. 
you know, I know a lot of artists are like, oh, you have to work every single day. But sometimes when I work back to back days, I kind of lose something in between. <laughs> like I almost need a different type of creativity, like, you know, doing painting every day, serious painting, especially because I worked on this yesterday. So serious paint or, you know, his brother yesterday, serious painting every day is a little taxing it's you know kind of mm -hmm. takes its toll if you will i think definitely the way men can get ahead in things is that they do most of them all constant can concentrate on one thing yeah but they're never being pregnant and back then right. they got like 15 times and they yeah. didn't have kids they didn't care it's true <laughs> they had them they, they just didn't do anything or, um there were there was a comedian and my aunt sent me the comedy bit. Mm -hmm. And then she sent me, cause she's funny about that type of stuff. She looked it up and saw that it was true that a woman's menstrual cramps are as strong as a man's heart attack. Like the pain is the same as a man having a heart attack. <laughs> and we're just expected just to get up and you know, start do what we gotta do. Don't let that stop every you, month. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So isn't that crazy? Oh, I always think back in the day when they didn't have all these products, it must have been a fail. I can't even imagine life without the products. My mother just used to say, well, they were just pregnant all the time. Well, no birth yeah. control either. They were pregnant or was miscarried or yeah, something. Yeah, it wasn't it certainly wasn't easy easy on them. <laughs> Yeah, there was something too. So uh, my aunt doesn't have children and she was talking about um, the uh, the concept that our, we weren't meant to have as many periods as we have because we, because we have birth control, we don't spend as much time pregnant as they did, you know, over the years, like you were just saying, like, and so we have different problems now because we're not pregnant all the time. So I'm like, well, that kind of makes a little bit of sense that, you know, well, different things kind of. Actually, who knows really right. how many problems anybody has later in life because they were on the Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't think, any, think a lot of research has been done on that. No. I, I spent can. many a year on the pill. <laughs> like, no, maybe we have a harder menopause or something. Well, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things we talk about. I wonder if men watch my videos from <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> it would be an education. Right? Yeah. You should be aware. Oh, my mother-in-law has always been a little like, you know, she's old school and she's, she's always kind of taken aback by how open I am and I've always been with my kids and um, in particular with like Sam, because she had two boys. So, you know, even, you know, when my husband was a kid, she wasn't going to be sharing anything about what was going on in her world. But I'm like, you know what? My son's going to have women in his life, whether that's, you know, children, wife, or, you know, whatever, girlfriend, he needs to understand some of it, like not all of it, but like he needs to understand what well, women have to go be. through a little bit, you know? I remember he was, I don't think he was, I don't know, like eight or nine. And I said something about I had a, you know, a checkup, a gynecologist appointment. And he was sitting there and my mother-in-law was like, don't say it. I'm like, what do you mean? And then Sam was like, well, what's that? And I said, it's a girl doctor. I said, you know, boys have boy parts, girls have girl parts. And he's like, yeah. He's like, well, you have doctors for each. And he's like, oh, I'm like, and I just looked at him I'm like, why was that so terrible? Yeah, <laughs> he, has to, he knows I have different parts so yeah. they know what tampons are I'm like yes my children know what tampons are 
good. It's fine. My husband still won't touch a box of tampons. So <laughs> my son will be will be more versed in such you things. Send your husband to the store. Nope, my husband would not go to the store for me. My son would, but my husband would not. Not for that. Oh. Oh yeah. But his mother wouldn't tell him anything. <laughs> Oh, and he decided ignorance is bliss. Yes, he doesn't want to know. He he wants to know nothing about the workings. <laughs> Ken doesn't care about anything. No? Yeah. That's good. I think actually Brett's getting a little bit better as time goes on because, you know, we... I, I do you. well yeah because especially you know over the last few years things have gotten not fun like they, it's always a pain in the butt but things have gotten a lot worse over the years and I'm like no you're gonna listen to my misery because <laughs> I have to go through it you're gonna listen and he's like oh, okay I didn't have any misery no mm -hmm. well nope very very nice <laughs> my was aunt all good my aunt was mm -hmm. the same way she's she was like talking about how she didn't understand with, you know, women complaining about these really bad periods. She's like, I never had to use anything more than a light tampon. Oh my oh, God. You, oh, you yeah. kissed my butt. Cause that, that is never the case ever. Oh, so I, yeah. My, mine were always good and no cramps. And then menopause was like, Okay, it's over. It's over. Oh, that's so nice. <sighs> okay, so as I'm just kind of distracting myself with all of our female conversations here, um, I've just been smoothing over some different things, which, you know, and I know this, it, it helps me. It's almost like the directional mark making when we're doing a landscape painting, you know, it, it just kind of helps when you can see things a little bit more defined. Um, and, you know, sometimes those jagged lines are just too jagged and they are really distracting. He said, better you than me to do this in front of other people. It's not exactly looking better than it is. No. It's getting worse. <laughs> Is a lot of rosy reflection in these little guys, this little guys' cheeks. So I'm gonna be a little heavy-handed and work it in. Because you know, too, some of the 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 tone of the, the hue of these colors really makes a difference. Um, that needs to go out a little bit. Beautiful. Sometimes it's like certain artists, like the like cheating, like. You know, like how weird she looks right now. They're like, that's it. That's done. And they don't try to even make it look yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, there's been times where I just throw it away. And be like, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, 
And I've, I, there's even been landscape paintings where I'm like, I'm just going to feel this one. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. That happens a lot. Just, it's just not, I'm not right, feeling it today. Come on. Like if I have like a landscape painting that it's just. You you wash it off. Yeah. Just sometimes it's, it, I know it's going to take too much work to do what I need to do to it and just scrap it. Mr. Remember, all right, now he's coming along. Oh, doesn't he look cute? <laughs> now I can breathe a little bit. Yeah. Whew. All right, his eyes still aren't right, but that's okay. They're coming along. I still need to put a lot of color or like his nose to build the shape of his nose. Stepping back helped a lot. So if you haven't stepped away, step away. I, Even if you're scared. <laughs> I have. A, <laughs> so I need to get some more color on the top of his head so I can place his hair. So what we talked about last time, you know, Colt's hair is so blonde. Um, I still needed to get that skin going before I could put the, the little hair. Now he's got such wispy, little tiny pieces of hair. Uh, I'm going to attempt to do it first with pastel pencil and then if it's just not right I'll I'll figure something else out but because I don't want it to be too specific um I don't want too many lines and right here I can't tell if it's just a shadow because that's how baby hair works sometimes Yeah, I don't like the way that's looking. Like I'm giving an old guy a comb over. <laughs> On screen, it's not so bad. In person, it's not good. Do you think that your stuff looks better on the screen? Sometimes. Sometimes it looks better on screen and sometimes it looks better in person. And it's really hard to... <laughs> decide which one's better. And even still, if it looks better in person, it's almost like I can never figure out how to get it to look that way on screen. <laughs> and that means even for photographing, see. <laughs> so this is to where like the shape of his head looks a little off because there's a couple of lines that are a little bit weird, but this is where that background comes into play. Or once I start to put the background in, I can, you know, trim off the like the corner that doesn't look quite right or something, you know, when something's not quite on target, you can move it a little bit. It's a couple of different colors. I can't really tell what color his hair is going to be. The ones, there's a couple of stronger strands on top that look brown, but he could be just, you know, building into that. Blonde.
So I pulled almost like a magenta kind of a color to get some of that feel of, you know, that purpley kind of color. But if we put it right on top of the scarlet kind of a color, it doesn't look dead or weird. It's kind of like when you combine Um, you know, your bright oranges with a yellow or with a pink and you get that perfect salmon kind of a color. Similar to that. The two together work nicely. It's a little bright. Yeah. Like he's had to make a lot of layers of pastel to get this to come out of him. The, the artist. Oh. That, did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost got a little blue on his skin too. Like there's a, maybe it's just a reflection. Try not to blend that blue in too much because if I do that, then it'll gray them out too much. Please come in good. Please. I think I need a support group today. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a project because you had to trim them down. Oh, yeah, it's quite a project. Heavy sigh. <laughs> My sister had. Zoom jury duty. Oh, yeah. Just for the first time. It's crazy day. that they're still doing that. Oh, okay. And, and then they call them in if they. She said she had to sit through over 400 persons of attendance. Oh, my God. And um, then she said the judge came on and like yelled at them. Oh. And don't try to get out of jury duty. Oh, yeah. And he got like Nick. She's yeah, very threatening and nasty. It's probably super hard to get an actual jury these days. <laughs> I don't know. Do it though. Yeah. So then they said, put it, put down a number. Here's the here's the reasons why you could be excused, and put put down a number. And she said, "Oh my God, nobody can follow instructions." <laughs> it was pathetic. Yeah, the general public does not follow. Not good. And um. So she put down a number, going on vacation, going to the doctor, whatever. It was going. This one was going to be long. Wow. And uh, they said okay, and a hundred and something people were dismissed and didn't wow. have to go in to Newark yeah. the next day. And I'm like, what did they do? They didn't ask any questions. No, nope. they didn't ask if it was valid. Nope, <laughs> they don't. So. I don't know. What would they do if everybody did that? I know. Maybe that's why they threaten you. Some people take it to heart. Like, I don't like it. Yeah. Some people do just, they get so caught up in really not wanting to do it, you know. I went in once, like they, you know, I didn't really like my job at the time. So I'm like, oh, I got jury duty. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and I went down to the courthouse. Yeah. And um, it was in Atlantic City, which I was bummed because we literally lived a street away from the courthouse in Mays Landing. But 
the courthouse in May's Landing is the criminal courts. This was civil courts. And um, which was funny because then I ended up, a second time I went, I ended up meeting my neighbor a block over here that I'd never met before. And I'm like, wait, you live there? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that was fun. But um, I never made it past that, just sitting in that room all day. <laughs> me too. That, that's what happened to me when I went. Yeah, and I'm like, well, and right before they were going to do it, they they came to a, an agreement right before. Yeah, like, they were you going have to do that. Like, it's just such a jerk move. Just settle before because, you know, you were willing to, you know, why does everybody have to get to that stage? Well, I think a lot of them do because the last four times I had it, I did. I just got the message. Oh, yeah. Or you don't have to. Do and that's that. fine, too. I um. I, uh, the one time we, they told us to go to lunch and come back. And then as soon as we came back, then we got to go. I'm like, you know, I could have saved money and gone home. I didn't need to eat lunch out. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm putting some of his clothes in there. Just, I, I, you know, I'm not going to do all the designs that are on his little PJs, but. Um, I will get some she is shadows and shadows. Dress. Oh, does she? I just remember seeing the jewels. Oh, okay. Well, sure, it costs a lot of money. I'm sure it does. <laughs> it looks like actual embroidered beading. Yeah, it does. On satin or something like that. Oh, yeah, she's shiny. The <laughs> truth. <laughs> <clears throat> No, I don't want that color. Not too gray. <laughs> That's true. Blue. can fuss over the color of his PJs for a little while and just kind of give my brain a little bit of a break <laughs> to how that's going to go. I still, I mean, I actually, I drew his hands, his little fingers in there. Um, so I will need to tackle those at some point. At least a little bit. So we haven't really talked about folds of fabric so I'm just really kind of placing light and dark, looking at some directional markings. Kathleen, how you doing, hon? Oops, hold on. Let me unmute myself. Okay. Um, I'm doing fine. I'm not. I'm not drawing once again. But I'm telling you, Renee, this lesson is like I'm holding my picture <laughs> that I'm going to do. I feel oh, like no, watching yeah. this where I can yep. see you. You're not like in a class where I'm just looking at this and seeing all the highlighting and like how you had that pink on his face and now it's yeah. all the stuff well, I'm afraid to do but that's what yeah. I have to kind of and well, the good. measuring it all like this is a fabulous lesson oh good so my struggle and, and I'm not somebody to jump out of bed and start painting but like I said uh it's hard to get them to look like babies you know but that's yeah. the highlighting and uh the roundness the measuring the measuring the size of them overall and that's a great um yeah Mom well because I'm thinking even with my portrait I did last year which took me you know like a long time and all but you see how just like that the hardest part to get with the baby is to make them look like a, a baby. baby have that baby yeah. fat you know yeah. it always looks like my charcoal drawing it kind of looks like him but he looks like he's 50 you know there's yeah. no but I have no highlighting on there. And just to watch you with 
that dark stuff you put under his chin, the dark mm -hmm. color and the nose and all. This is, mm -hmm. uh, you did record, you're recording this, right? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, I'll be posting yeah. it. And like I said, in class, I mean, it's nice. You can walk up and see the painting, but to sit here and just actually see this up close as you do all that highlighting and to see the color yeah. you're using. Like I'm afraid yeah, that my picture would never, you know, and when you had all that in the beginning, those highlights and stuff like that, the brighter colors, yeah. that's the steps that I have to take a chance and do a little more of because that's right. why your picture looks like he's got that fat little cheek. He does, right? Yeah. Um, so I love it. it. I'm certainly, I sat here and ate my breakfast and drank my tea. But like I said, being able to actually just sit and watch this up close is very, uh, very helpful. Good, good, good. about 45 minutes left i'm still i mean the eyes still need a lot of work i'm still giving myself a little break from that um <laughs> i know i'm pushing it i'm just kind of softening some things out i was i kept testing colors because he's got this the little jammies are a gray blue so i keep testing colors and i haven't really liked any of them for what it is so i'm just gonna kind of like that better than what he's wearing yeah like well I what he's like wearing is cute but it's like it's it's ribbed it's got yeah. like a ribbing to it and i'm not doing a ribbing i'm not <laughs> not yeah. doing that but i still want to get the look of the the creases and the light and all that kind of good stuff And so I'm also. What was the color you were using in his nostrils? The pencil, like, is that a dark? Um. Yeah. So reddish? that's the. Um, it's that dark purple one from the Carbothello one. Oh, okay. So it's. Yeah. It's I. I think you had it, and I pulled it out for you. Yeah, I do have but, some yeah. of the. Yeah, uh, and is that the same color, like in his mouth? That one, uh, you know, on his right side, the darker of the color in his mouth, is that the same color? Yeah, but, okay. but there's uh, there's other colors in that one too. There's like a, an almost a black in there, just because I was placing it. Um, so you could do it with just that purple for sure. So the color of this pillow or whatever he's holding is um, interesting. Like it's kind of peachy. This is where you don't know what the camera is doing necessarily. So I don't want to offend them by putting the wrong, you know, color, but. I don't think they care what color the the blanket is as long as it, the baby's the right color. Yeah, right. Right. He's got the right coloring. I do need to get some of his little fingers in there. Since they're placed, I should kind of try to put them. What brand of pastel is that that you're using that you have like into a point? Well, it's a new pastel. I just shaved it in one okay. point. Um, That's a harder pastel, right? Yeah. Okay. And Alan Picard does that with 
his and that's and I took that class with him and that's why I started to right. do that um but I don't know I mean it's nice but it's also a little wasteful yeah. because you do you do shave away a lot right and right for the amount of poor I mean he does portraits for a living I mean there's I mean he does other stuff too but he mostly does portraits and um it makes sense for him to to have right. the tool the right way I'm just kind of you know I play around with it and I use the hard pastels for other things so I just I don't know that I would recommend it is all I'm trying to say <laughs> that was yeah. a long way around that to get to that point <laughs> but I Step back. Okay. Yeah, step back and see yeah. where you're at. What it feels like. A lot of work to be done on his fingers, but they're there now at least. Let's see. So nice. She has a lot of colors. Yeah. I was, I put so many different, I never used so much colors on a face. She's almost in drag, <laughs> really. She's got so much blush and lipstick they and plastered it on yeah, for her. They really did. <laughs> but she looks, you know, she's really old. She is? Yeah. It's like 90s. Man. Well, and you can really push, I know it looks, you know, you can really push that shadow up in. Oh yeah, I'm I'm yeah. gonna have a good time. <laughs> I didn't put the wrinkles in really. Yeah. She doesn't. They really plastered the mat mostly out. So yeah, they did. They had to be like subtle. Interesting color. So I try not to get going too crazy with um pastel pencils on the portraits only because I don't use them the whole time. So if I suddenly start to have lines, they look out of place. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep it um, as loose as I can. Um, And if I put those lines, and I'll come back with a soft one if I can, and just kind of I can definitely see that I will most likely not finish it all the way today. As much as I want this to be done, I, you know, I do know I can't push myself, you know, at a certain point. I think we all start to feel that, you know, where you just, you know, if you keep going, you're going to mess it up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the landscape or anything else, you know, that it's time to take a break. So now I'm going to push that eye open a little bit. 
Let me step back for a second. His fingers are definitely um, going to take a little bit more work. I have them kind of a little bit wonky looking. You know, you can see little fingernails and things like that. I'll work on that. Okay. Ooh. So I need to push, I need to push down. Glasses on. I'm gonna have to, well, let's see. Hopefully you can still see. I have to get to a point where I can see where the stick is touching. That didn't work out well. It's almost like he's got eyeliner on. There's just this really deep line. So right now it's just a little bit of a black hole and that's okay. And again, I don't want to go too dark on the coloring under his eyes. I can get get away with overworking the eyes on an older person because they have mascara and all kinds of right. stuff on. They you do have that. the eyeliner and they do have all that. Yeah. <laughs> you do that to a kid and yeah. It gets to be too much. All right, that's not a bright enough glue. I don't want to go too bright on your phone. Eyes are barking out. He's protecting that. Yes, he is. <laughs> he does a good job of that. <laughs> Again, I'm still going to wait for that little white of his eye um, highlight. I'm gone. Uh 
I got my little nail prints from where I'm holding my finger. <laughs> So, you know, I do have these really light pastel pencils, but they don't always get the sharpest line like you want. And sometimes you have to just take that chance <clears throat> and use um, a soft one to get the information that you need. Sorry for constantly putting my face and my head across the screen. But I just need to see where it's touching. Especially because one little dot will certainly change things up quite a bit for you. And that blue in his eye is so shadowed. Like the whites of his eye on this eye that I'm working on are really blue. Well, that's a wonderful shading, but that doesn't quite sit right. I go stand back. I haven't done that yet. Oh, and I do have it's a really deep blue pencil. That'll help me out for a minute here. And there is more light on this eye, so I can have a little more blue showing. And using the pencils too, sometimes it's just a nice way to smooth some things out a little bit, um, slash blend a little bit. However, when you do that, sometimes you end up with these little piles of pastel and the removal of these little piles of pastel can be a little frightening. So just dab at them, just a little dab. And it will just settle down, you know, you don't need to go crazy. And sometimes too, the, the pencils are the exact wrong tool. Um, because they can pick up and muddy other colors, you know, especially the lighter ones. And you think you're playing it safe and you end up muddying something really terribly because you were trying to use your light colored pencil to do some work for you. And the unfortunate fact is that's where the concept of, you know, hard versus soft pastel comes into play. That hard stick with less pigment will kind of bite you in the butt.
I put the little twinkles in there. I have to step back because I there's there is still a lot more work to do, but I'm a little close. I'll show you here. I'm going to pan the camera down and show you the ridiculous mess of um, portrait pastels I have going. <laughs> ridiculous, right? <laughs> All that stuff hanging out there. So many colors. I mean, look, everything's like, you know, popped and pulled and everything. Now, granted, it was for his brother's portrait too, but all pretty much the same. All right, let me step back for a minute. Ooh. Nice. She's colorful. She's colorful. <laughs> Actually, if you do a good, decent job, she's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 It's like every color is <laughs> yellow. Oh, it's the green. A little green in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 more rain so now that I have so much pastel on here I don't want to go too blendy right now um, but I don't necessarily want lots of texture on his smooth little chubby face so I'm just tapping with my ring finger in some spots um, and then I'll know where to go with some of those pinks and things like that. Like, so I have to be careful too, the highlights on this side of his face that I'm touching, they're, they're not as bright as the other side, oh. you know? Um, I have a lot going on in this part of his face that I need to look at. From a distance, it's all looking pretty good, but not exactly like I want it to just yet. So we're getting there. Um, so deciding for background colors, I might go with something really similar to his brother, just in case she wants them and they happen to be hanging next to one another. So, you know, I could go with those same greens and I think that would look, the green and blue together, I think would look good with the baby too. Um, and then I can put even some fun highlights on this blankie or pillow or whatever it is. I didn't really work on the folds of the blanket and I'm not sure that I really will. Um, we'll see how I feel about that later. I'll go ahead and put some of that color that I used yesterday up there. <clears throat> so they have the light coming from opposite sides of the face. So I'm gonna take this darker green, which is where I started with, I know this is really dark, but <clears throat> this is where I started with on the shadowy side of the big brother. And I just kind of like to do directional markings for backgrounds. And again, this is just nothing in particular. I, I don't really stress too much about backgrounds. Um, I've seen some really neat backgrounds where the artists take, you know, um, a variety of objects that the person might like and you know, really make it a true traditional portrait where it tells a story about the person. You know, like what we used to learn about and, you know, when they have a dog in the portrait, it means this and, you know, that all that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> that is not really what I'm doing here. Um, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. A little wig. 
So I like to kind of do it in, in little bits of layers of the different colors. Um, I do usually like a lot of um, blue and turquoise, but I feel like it's a little overdone and I wanted to do something a little different um, this time. Green greens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the one I dropped. It just cracked into like three more pieces in my hand. Uh, nice. Yeah, you really kind of wreck them when you, you do. shatter them. That yeah. much. And they're not that cheap. No, they are not. So it looks like, you know, it'll get a little icky for a minute <laughs> with the, the different colors and stuff. Um, I sometimes I, I blend and sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes I blend and then go back over it just to, you know, have something different. But like yesterday when I was working on the older brother, um, I did a combination of things where I did a bunch of this just directional marks. And then I was like, oh, I don't like that. And then so then I went through and I took a paintbrush and just kind of drug it. And I was like, oh, that's not bad. And then I added more and I was like, oh, I don't like that. And then I took another <laughs> paintbrush <laughs> and I drug it again. And, you know, in the end, it's loose interpretation. It's not nearly what I started with, um, but I ended up liking it. So there's really no wrong way to just do a background. You could also just do a solid color. It doesn't even have to be, you know, anything in particular. You just do however you felt. Like that went, that jumped too high, I'll tell you. Something causing a weird line. The most important thing though is just, you know, when you're carving in to make sure you don't change the shape of your subject. So what I usually do is like I, I get pretty close and carve in with one color and then really take my time. And then I can come up with another color close to it. And it doesn't have to be as exact. And then sometimes I like to even pull some of the background color into the portrait, you know? You can just kind of pull just right over it. And again, that's just that, you know, you don't have to do it by any stretch of the imagination. Just do what makes you happy. Oh, that looks pretty. Thanks. I gotta fix that. That's too much. That's too much. That's a Good color blue. It is a pretty blue. It's one of those like yeah. I end up using in the ocean a lot. What do you think that color blue is? It's really close to a natural cerulean. Um, like if you were to get a tube of paint, like it's pretty close to a cerulean blue. All right, so it is eleven fifteen. Okay, so I am going to stop for a little bit. I'm not finished with it. It's not far from being finished. Um, but there's there's some tweaks that need to happen. Yeah, um, good. Thanks. 
you know, his fingers need to be finished. Like actually they need to be corrected. They kind of come out and down a little more. Um, What's the bigger one that you did? The, you had, you said was too big. Oh, for him. he's too big in comparison to Oh, him. you never did a color one. That's this. You just, this, that. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So you, you I was, I was trying. preparing myself to make sure I didn't make him too big today. What's you know? the color one of the brother? Oh, they look so now they kind of match a little bit. They kind of match in what they're yeah, wearing. Yes. They kind of match in, you know, so I could even darken his PJs up to kind of match, you know, so they're not matchy matchy, but they're, you know. They, they look good. They look nice. Thanks. So they're getting there. Um, I still want to play with just, there's something overall that's not quite right in person. It's nice on screen, but there's something weird that I just, and I still want to update, you know, I'm not done with his PJs. And like I said, his hand needs to be fixed here. Um, and I, I don't get all of this hand. So I have to just either maybe just cover it instead of trying to maybe mess with the hand yeah, um, because there's just not enough of it. I don't see it all of it. does look big though in the pictures yeah. like because it's more forward yeah it does look like a big meaty hand yeah so I don't think it looks right and it might not because I just kind of drew that it might be so we go there to there there oh yeah it's too it's yeah I'm gonna cover up that hand but it is big in the but picture. it is big in the picture because yeah. you just get his knuckles straight at you all right, I'm going to take the spot. I'm going to stop the recording here.